Hello everybody and welcome to the second video in the series where we talk about the implementation and the logic it's behind a full adder, right? So before I go on to talk about what a full adder is, I thought it would be a nice idea to talk about what a half adder does because a full adder is essentially just two half adders added together, right? Or put together. Now, in the case of a half adder, it's actually just comprised of two logic gates, right? If you haven't seen the last video where I discussed these logic gates, I think uh, it would be a nice idea if you can check out that video before carrying on with this one. Now, uh, what a half adder does is, is, is that it carries out the addition of two bits, right? And to hopefully alleviate the purpose of these outputs, right, the sum and the carry, I've got a simple example over here where we're adding two numbers in binary code. Now, the way that we read binary code is essentially uh, very simple, right? So we can see that there is a one here, right? And there is a one here, right? Now in binary code, uh, we only have zeros or ones to deal with, right? And uh, so there are only two states. However, if we start joining together bits to form a byte, for example, then there are more states, right? And uh, we can represent even more data structures, right? Now, here, right, uh, we have a 1 in the 2's column, and we have a 1 in the 8's column, right? So notice how this is an 8 over here, and we this is also a 2 over here. If we were to add these two, right, right, so just adding those two gives us the number 10, right? So a similar thing can be done for the second number, uh, and we have a 4 over here. Right? And we have a 2 over here, right? So notice how there's a, this 1 in the twos, in the 4th column, and there's a 1 also in the 2's column, right? So if we just simply just add these two numbers up, then we get a 6, right? So now I will, we will add these two numbers. So uh, is there a way? We know that the addition of 10 and 6 gives us 16, right? So now I'm going to ask, is there a way that we can try to get this result in binary code? Well, there is, right? So if we add, if we start from the right here and just add our numbers, right? So zero plus zero, well, that gives us zero, right? One plus one gives us two, but we can't represent two in binary, right? So what we're going to do is say that this is zero and then put a one in the more significant column to the left, right? So one plus one, again, is two, right? So similar deal here, right? We put a zero over here and we carry the one. One plus one, right? Well, that gives us a two. So similar case over here, we put a zero here and we put a one over here as a carry, right? We put it into the more significant column right, which is happens to be 16 in this case. Now, one plus zero plus zero, well, that is the same as just one, right? So now we've got a one that is in the 16 column, right? So that just means that there's a 16 in this number, right? And 16 happens to be the only component of this number, right? So therefore we have completed the addition successfully, right? So now, right, hopefully that alleviates the purpose of uh, the sum and the carry. And uh, to represent that with these logic gates, essentially we can use an XOR gate and an AND gate, right? Where the inputs for the XOR gate, the exclusive OR gate are A and B, and the inputs for the AND gate are also A and B, right? So here we can see that the inputs, right, when the inputs are both off, then the sum and the carry would be off. When either A or B is on, then the sum is on, right? And that makes sense because it's being fed into an exclusive OR gate. And the way that exclusive OR gate it works is it uh, only allows for one of the inputs to be on for the output to be on, right? So uh, the output is only on when the inputs are different, right? And they are different in the case of when one is on and the other is off, right? So let's talk about this last example over here. 
when we have both A and B on. Well, when both A and B are on, this exclusive OR gate actually has no output and the A and the B are being fed into this AND gate and the carry is then activated, right? So the carry would then move the bit into the more significant column, right? So now we're going to talk about what a full adder is and hopefully you can see straight away that it, essentially its truth table actually looks fairly similar to the half adders one. However, there's an additional four rows, right? So if we zoom out a bit in, right, we can see that there is an XOR gate here, there's an AND gate over here, but then we can see that the output of this XOR gate is being fed into another XOR gate. And we also have another AND gate over here, right, which takes the output of that XOR gate, right? Now, both of the ANDs have their outputs feeding into this OR, right? And this OR would have the output of the carry out, or would have would carry the carry out, right? We also have a carry in, which uh, handles the a bit or from the more sorry from the less significant column right and then the carry out carries the bit to the next uh, more significant column now it's possible for you to have a sequence of these uh, adders put together to form a ripple carry adder right which allows you to handle more than a single bit right addition right and the truth table is actually uh, illustrated over here and what we will talk about are these last four rows over here because these first four rows are essentially the same. Uh, I should mention that the full adder has three inputs, right? So that's uh, something new there, right? So there's an additional input and that would be the CN. So when the CN is on, right, the either the sum or the output is going to be on, right? Uh, one of these are going to be on. So I think the interesting scenario here is when A B and C in are all on, we can see that both the sum are and the output is also on, right? So just for the sake of demonstration here, if we talk about one and one and one, so A, B and C in all being on, then D is going to be off, right? C in is going to be on, therefore the sum, right? Because it takes D as XOR of D and C in, that's going to be on, right? This and, Right, which takes D and C in, right, is going to be off, right? So F is going to be off, right? But we can see that A and B are both on, right? And they are both feeding into this AND gate, right? And the output is E. Now the output E is going to be on, right? And that feeds into this OR gate, which then carries it out to the next adder, right? So we can implement this in Python quite easily, right? Hopefully you should see it's not very difficult, right? So I've uh, Im improved the uh, logic gates talked about in the last video with these doc strings uh, with the truth tables in them and I highly recommend checking those out. Uh, but here we will talk about our, sorry, did I run this cell? No, I did not run this cell. So let's just run this cell, right? And here we will talk about the logic in a full adder. Well, essentially we have the wire D, right? Which is equal to the X or of A comma B. So we can see that in this diagram actually. So the X or of A and B gives you D, right? And then D can feed into this X or right, to give you the sum, and then D can also be a component or, a, or can also be an input for this, and which would eventually give you F, right? So let us calculate the sum first, right, because we can do that. We know what C in and uh, we know what D are. And if we look in this uh, as the, uh, the parameters for this function, we have to give it an A, we have to give it a B, and we have to give it the C in, right, which is represented as a C over here. Right? So if we say that the sum, is equal to the x or of d and c, right? There, now we can calculate our sum, right? Or we have calculated our sum, right? Based on the logic gates that we already have, right? So this x or can also be uh, represented as this, if this carrot symbol, if you 
uh, prefer, right? Now we will go on to talk about uh, the wire F and calculating its state, right? So wire F is uh, simply just a and of uh, C in and D, right? So let's put that over there. And then we can calculate what E is, right? So this, this wire E over here. So let's see if I can turn off active pin and then start drawing. So I'm referring to calculating this y over here. We've already calculated this y over here, the f, right? And we have already calculated the d, right? So let's just calculate the e, and that is simply just an and of a and b, right? So the e is simply just and of a comma b and then finally to calculate the or and what i'm going to do is put this in another color right so to calculate this we essentially just need to take the or of f and e right so the out would be equal to the or of f comma e right and then that's simply our implementation right so we can just return from here so we return a tuple where the first element corresponds to the sum and the second element is our output right and then we can call this function to verify that this is correct right? Add and what we can do is just give it zeros, right? And we can see that both the sum and the output is zero, right? So that corresponds nicely with what we have observed. We can change this carry to one, and we can see that the sum is one, right? We can also uh, use the truth table to try to identify some of the outputs, right? And if we were to change B, for example, to one, then we can see that the carry would be one, right? And if finally, if we were to change this one or the A into, uh, to have the positive state, oh, sorry, to have a one on state, then you can also see that the sum and the output are one, right? Now, in the next video, we will talk about how we can use these for that as to essentially help us to do some simple arithmetic. So, addition or subtraction, right? And I would highly recommend just uh, checking out the code. It will be on GitHub and uh, having a play around with that. But I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, if, you found, if you liked or learned anything new, uh, then you should be sure to press the like button and share if you found it helpful, right? Uh, have a nice day. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in the next part.